James from Act Audio, Vernon, Connecticut. And today we're gonna talk about why do you need your crossover with the speakers? A lot of people call me and ask me, do I need this? Depends. Short answer is yes, you need it. This is basically protecting the horn of the speaker. So when it comes to an audio system, you, you know, your general audio system, like say, let's say in a car, you don't really want speakers to cross over frequencies really. So you wanna separate them. Right, so you want your sub to play 80 hertz and under, your mid-range, your woofer, mid-woofer, whatever, up to 300, your mid-range up to, every system a little different, but I usually do 4K and your horns above that. This is your mid, this is your horn. Horn, it's a small speaker, it can't handle bass, right? You put bass to that little diaphragm in there, it's gonna blow it like that. This can handle more bass. It can't handle that low, low bass that, you know, 12s can handle, you know, 80 hertz and under. So you really shouldn't put much under 80 hertz to this speaker here of clean power. And the horn, if I had to guess, this is 6,000 hertz and up, but I actually didn't look up the specs, so I don't know. Um, but at the end of the day, what this is doing is it's creating a filter that's gonna filter out the frequencies, right? Terminal one, positive, negative. Terminal two, positive, negative. To designate one channel, so there's many ways to do this, all right? This speaker has four terminals, sorry, two terminals to all four, or all, both of them, I should say. Four terminals, but two pairs. So I'm confusing myself. But you can designate one channel of the amp to the whole thing, and you're gonna add this to filter the sounds. Or if you want a little extra power and you have a setup that you can, you know, run independent channels, you can do that as well and run independent channels and have this going to it. Unless you're doing a DSP, I don't recommend it. If you're using a DSP, with the DSP, you can set these parameters inside of it and you can run direct the DSP to the amp, to the speaker, and it's gonna give you a little extra power um, so that's not being lost in here. It's argumentative because they say this is gonna drop your power and add distortion. I mean, maybe it does, but are you gonna notice it on your bike doing 80 miles an hour? Probably not. That's my opinion. So depending on your setup, depending on you know the channels you wanna do and how elaborate you wanna go, it's depending on how you're gonna use this. The most basic way is channel one, it's coming out to the woofer, and you're gonna go from the woofer out through this, back to the tweeter, and you're gonna share the channel, and this is gonna filter your sound. If you are, you know, some people also recommend you are adding, filtering it through the DSP. You do wanna add a cap that's out of the frequency range, because if you add a cap that's within the frequency or close, it'll cause other problems. I've seen it cause a peak on a PAA3, but you wanna keep the frequency range separated um, and go a little lower, and it helps throttle the power and reduce the chances of blowing. Um, some people believe in that, but if you're hooking these up on your bike and you're trying to keep it simple, use the crossover, go from the amp to the terminals, out of the terminals. Here, let's open this up, let me show you. If you open this up, you have two ends. One end can go to the amp, the other end can go to here, and then these come around and hook up here. So this is pre-wired to do it exactly as I was saying, with you hooking up sound to the woofer, sound to the amp, and it goes through this for the horn only. I know it's probably a little confusing. I went a little all over the place, but if you have any questions, hit me up below and I'll try to clarify. And this is the Cicada uh, CHX 654. Um, there is a 652 version, which just gives you a little more power out of the amp if you're running it like that. Um, this is for our display, so we're trying to keep everything four rooms to keep it even. Any questions, hit us up below. Thanks for watching.